what's going on? Back from the game. What's your boy, the Prophet? Hey, yo, man. So, a lot of people have been asking me um, as far as this new banner with Biakia. And I pretty much, you know, we most of us, you know, predicted this or expected this. The Brave Selection Round 2, um, Biakia and Mugetsu. If you guys see my orb count, you know that I'm skipping this banner as much as I don't want to. Um, yeah, so this is the banner. It drops tomorrow, basically. Well, essentially in a day and a half. So right now, it's um, the 19th where I am. So essentially 24 hours till this banner drops. And yeah, man, it's very exciting. A lot of people expected it. You know, fourth anniversary, full hollow Ichigo was in the last banner, the one with, um, you know, fifth anniversary Ichigo. So it just made sense that Byakuya and Mugetsu would be together. And as far as, I mean, these are two seasonals. And I do admit, if you haven't been playing the game for that long, you won't have these characters. So unless you're just really lucky from like the free seasonal stuff that they've been giving us. Other than that, uh, Makoto, he's actually kind of a newer premium character within the last like six months or so. So this actually is not a very bad banner, especially in terms of, you know, you might, some of these, some people, there might be four or five new units. All these units could actually potentially be new for a lot of players. So, you know, that that's a fact and that does stand for reason, you know. So if you guys are going to be summoning on this banner, best of luck to you. Hopefully you guys had better luck than I did on the Ichigo summons. Um, I did literally just upload that. Um, but so if you guys haven't checked it out, go ahead and check it out. But yeah, so hopefully you guys, um, you know, you, you're you done summoning for Ichigo. You're done summoning for Rukia. You're done summoning for 5th Anniversary Ichigo. And just notice that we're close to end of month. This banner drops on the 20th. So, and it's going to end literally the day before like right before the end of month banner drops so we will have information on the end of month before this banner ends so if you really really want if you're on the fence if you're like ah oh, man i don't know should i wait or should i summon well you have 11 days to make up your mind with this banner that should be plenty enough time and uh, we'll definitely have information on what end of month is going to be so just keep that in mind that if you want, you can make a fully educated decision and not summon any orbs on this banner until we know what end of month is. Now, mind you, end of month is more than likely going to be an exclusive character. A lot of people are betting on Camp Fairy on World because Caleb said between January and March, there'd be two Camp Fairy on World, you know, volumes or um, February and March. However, they said it, um, we're, we are expecting Camp Fairy on World for the upcoming end of month. And it, there's a small chance it could be some type of Valentine's Day celebration. But um, like I said, that's a possibility. They also could opt to do the Valentine's Day banner on for mid-month because that would technically be a lot closer to Valentine's Day. But in some places, it might be past Valentine's. So um, ranking Mugetsu, like where does he stand today? He's still one of the best heart around, uh, one of the best heart hollow killers in the game. So, you know, he does still have a very good place. Um, Ross Golax. Thank you for some, my man. So, Mugetsu is still a very good character. Now, he is basically on the cusp of being eclipsed totally. The next power hollow killer that comes out is more than likely going to be better than Mugetsu. So, that's just something to keep in mind. We also need a heart Arankar killer. Did I say he was power twice? I meant heart. Heart hollow killer. And then um, we also need a heart a Ron card killer as well. Yeah. So <laughs> um, all in all, this banner is very solid. I'm just saying if you do summon on this, you have enough time to wait and see what end of month is. If you're really nervous, if you're really on the fence, if you're a newer player, if you have story, if you have characters that you can max for orbs, I recommend at least going to step five on this banner, period. Um, there are two seasonals. So, you know, those are characters are slightly more rare just as far as the orbs and maybe their point event bonuses. This Anator is a Chronicle Quest bonus, actually, and so is this Rukia. So, that actually is two very big pluses with this banner. You got two Chronicle Quest bonus characters, this God tier character, and then um, this Byakia is S plus tier, and this 
we'll get to, I would say is a low S tier for right now as the game currently stands. So just be careful. Hopefully you guys have great luck. I wish you the best of luck. I know a lot of people are going to be summoning. Shout out to my boy Spite. Hopefully he, I'm pretty sure he's going to summon on this and I do wish him the best of luck. Hope you don't have to go in too deep, man. And I bless, hope everybody has very good summons. You know, and I really do wish for you guys to have good luck, man. Uh, even though if my luck isn't the best, I still want you guys to have good luck. I don't, you know what I'm saying? Nobody wants to get shafted. So I would rather you guys have happy pulls as well. But if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you follow me. Twitch.tv slash deprop24. I'll go ahead and um, hit you with a boot, bam, pop, bam, pow. Make sure you follow that. And um, I'll see you beautiful people in the next video. Probably next time. Do love y'all. All right. <laughs>